Hey guys and welcome to my video. So today it's about boss 2 on Nekari Hall of Trails. So actually so first the boss video before this so I can check it. And this one actually I took a long time so I can make this video because it have a lot of complicated things. So I had to know everything about it before I made a video about this. So anyway I will talk about everything almost on this video. So don't forget to subscribe, like the video. The boss is hard, actually I can say it's not that easy. And I can say it's easy at some points. So you have to care about the attacks from this boss. You have to care about the debuffs. And you have to care about a lot of things. And actually it's dependent on the tank more than anything else. And for the others will do or follow whatever the tank is doing. So they have to focus on this. But if the tank is fail, this all of mechanics will fail i can say so it's about me or about tent more than anything so first thing i will talk about is debuffs on this dungeon so the yellow debuff you will see it on 40 percent so this one it can make you die if it go to zero so you will have a debuff on you after you reach 40 percent from one minute and a half if it reach zero you will die so you can cancel this where it's going to the orb and i will tell you this later when we begin this phase this one is doing some stats on you and the stats will make some problems with you and it can go for others and it may reduce for your damage and this one it is stat until you reach 10 stats or that's the match stats it do slow on you on every stat and actually will do some damage for you and it happened because of some attacks doing some yellow circles or something like standing on the orb when after you finish the orb or after you kill the ad and the orb is come and actually if you stand on it it will stack on you last one if you are going to stone so you will see this one and it happened from some attacks and the most of them when the boss is raging okay away from this everything is fine so the main point about this dungeon is super simple the boss always on every in every phase made some ads this ads you have to make the boss do some or do an attack with a cheat wave from him you will make it go to this ad the ad have a shield you will break it like this and you will kill this ad it will make orb this orb you will draw in a, on it on the right time that's it and that's the point about this dungeon so let's begin with talking about everything as we go so here i started with a knockdown that's a not good one because this boss especially is not good with this knockdowns because he does this attack like what you saw so it's better to go like this so here i will not knock down because the boss bar will open like this so after this you can grab him you can grab on the first one and actually as you can see the grab is doing so much damage to the boss like this okay boss attacks like this one attack with addition then he does this so you have to complete you can block it you can resist it whatever then he will go for a cheat wave like this you have to resist all of them then he will draw like this and begin to target someone and after he chooses it he will draw behind him like this and do this attack will do not back so you have to clear from it and then he will draw for the tent with this three attacks he have to block them or resist them then maybe if you fail he can pull you like this if that happen you have to cc as fast as you can so you can save your party member then he will draw for aura like this but we didn't see it when he reach 90 percent he will jump whatever what is he's doing he will not wait any other point so let's go for 90 percent phase for sure here phases is drawn like this 90 percent 60 percent and 40 percent so 90 percent starting like this he jump to the middle for sure he do aura like this and now he will spawn some ads okay so ads will be like this one here on seven o'clock one here on eleven o'clock and one here on about two o'clock and one here about four or five o'clock whatever you can know them from this much on the floor like what the one under me or one like this or one behind him like this or this one so ads will draw on these places okay so what i have to do is just make this state wave he trying to do to go on me and i have to block it or resist it and image the state wave hit the ad the ad have a shield it will break like this and my party member should kill this ad first that will you can the ad can be cc'd and you can actually break them also so still like my c here can break the ad so easy so it's a good thing for this okay so like this i am he am ad i know it's dead 
or it got the attack so they will draw till it then both draw behind you like this i am this he will draw behind me again now and the bit faster then he will aim this after third one he will take a bit and understand like this draw for this aura so i have to dodge it and better for me now to draw away from my party because he this attack i have to block all of them and do some damage like this and wait he will draw behind me again then i will make the wave go to the ad behind me after this he will jump on me so i have to dodge this one then he will go for this aura and it's a room aura after this he will do this four tit waves everyone go for a member and by the way this tit waves if you are sentient and someone did it will go for you two times now both jump to the mid light is this it have a ridge bar at max and now he will do a wipe aura so I wait until I feel the wipe aura is coming and I begin to go in light is this then go to orb light is this it have a stat light is this and you can press 1 2 LMB RMB I prefer doing this after the third wave so I make sure I don't go up earlier okay then since go well he will do this four waves and now he will change the tent so he will look to someone like this and he begin to tent him he start for sure with the same attack like what you saw before 90% then he will jump like this it do a knock up I have to dodge it then he will look to the tent and do this attack so just do damage then follow by wipe aura like this so you have to do it okay 60% phase it will start like this so he jump again to the mid and after this he will spawn some ads three ads like what you saw so the middle one the one behind me is always moving so he will aim a wave tight light before so if i will draw for this one or the one behind me actually this one will move but if i aim it for the mid one it will never move or the others will never move so that's something that makes you better to draw for the middle one before anything also the middle one have an orb with two tapestry but this two every one of them have an orb with one tapestry so total of four for sure if we draw two of us drawing for this orb it will do two percent but for sure we will not do in this at any time so anyway i will aim the wave pitch to my bat the middle one then after this tear because the bar on the boss is much slight as this so we begin to meet his attack and this attack called the fury this attack is doing so much damage and it can make you turn to stone you can bloat it you can resist it you don't have any problem the attack is down like this it have a five attacks it starts with the nearest character to him then last one will be the same character and he go for the others for sure on between okay so he will go for the one to the right to here then he will go third one then he will return to me then he run to the last one and that's the one who was the first also after this he will do wave tits so i can do some damage here and others can kill the ads then he come behind me as a tent and do this attack i aim again here then do it okay so now we have two orbs here and the last one behind me i have to get it super fast because if i will not do this maybe i will not go on time and he will do the wipe aura and kill us okay so i first go for this even i will help them because we need to kill this first so i break it okay he will do the wipe aura if you can see this orb have two ranges like this this one with a two tapestry anyone will have just one range so i jump fast and go in and he will do the wipe aura for sure he lost a lot of hp then I go out. Okay. Then he do a wave stitch again and since draw like whatever happened after 90% phase. Choose a new tent. He didn't do attack like this. So just do damage. Jump on the new tent. Do this attack again. He will do a wipe. Aura or a room aura like this. But this time in this phase after 60% he do it two times like what you saw. So that's something you have to care about because it can kill you. Okay, starting with 40%. He go to the middle, but this one will do a burst attack like this. So you have to dodge it. Okay, on this phase, he spawn just one ad. The first ad he spawn is doing an orb or giving you an orb. 
this orb gave a capacity for all members so you can draw for this orb with all of the four okay so what you have to do one of the party should lower this one and stay with it and cc it and waste some time so this one not interfere with us as melees also do not die under the boss so the orb will be under the boss and doing the stats on us and that can help challenge us for sure okay also as i mentioned before you have this stat if it go to zero you will die this one received by going to an orb but we will not go to the orb at any time we will go at time i will tell you as we do okay so no one went to this ad the ad is behind us like this so we should cc this or doing anything okay focus on this one this one is a circle attack it happened a lot sometimes the boss doing the sound before it happened but you have to care about it it will make four circles doing super high damage even if you will take two of them maybe you will die full hp so it will do one in one out one in one out like this here i forgot to jump from this so i have to go out now after this then go in again like this so i can dodge all of them boss grab me someone td the boss and they grab it that's something good if you don't grab for sure the boss will do that attack that makes you take a knockback okay so here the first shield did or shield did on the head jump on me like this i have to dodge this as i am the tank here from the orb always doing the knockback aura after this and this knockback can do a lot of problems and I'm, I'm telling you because i did because of this a lot okay that's the orb or that's the lot end of the orb with the full capacity it's making drains going up like this so here you have to dodge this he spawned another ad like what you can see and it will make some problems with us for sure so we have to attack and focus on this one and always focus on this attack it can come on 50 percent from this ridge bar okay doing the damage for sure or anything to the boss or boss hitting us it made this ridge bar going up okay so i have focus on this and party have to always focus on the tds and also focus to this aura and after this he will aim a second wave so we aim it for this ad at least to stay away from us boss will jump to the mid he have the ridge bar light this and on match so i will draw in the orb at this time because that's the better time actually after we went because the damage taken from all of this he did on the same time and everything is good if i will say you will take longer than this so he will spawn another ad adds always every about 30 seconds and i say about because sometimes the boss is knocked down or anything like this so he will spawn a bit later than this so it's about 30 seconds so you will aim boss again and wave tits and everything like this but the uh, the ads will make orbs with just two capacity not not four like the first one just the first one made this one but others will do just two capacity so if they do this and you reach this point two of your members will go for it so they can receive the aura and the others will not draw for anything then next one the other two will draw in and the first one will not draw okay and if fatal flurry happen light like this and if it sends drawn very much or don't for higher time or whatever so you will have to split and bloat it and resist it and be fine for you so almost as i can say that's it but if i will say some points so you can focus on this first of all Focus for sure on where your wave tit as a tent. For sure you have to aim all of them right, whatever you are the main tent or not. Because sometimes you will have to tent and you will have to aim this. If I will say the tent is dead, so anyone will do it. So if you don't understand how to tent, you will have a big problem and you will die so easy. That and the point about the debuff can make some problems for you. So you you have to stay away from your party because it will make them hit the same debuff and that will make some problems for you and you will find yourself not doing any good damage to the boss and you will never understand why i'm doing this so if you do mechanics well and everything do well you will do a lot of damage and things will go super fine on this 
about orbs for sure every time you kill the ad don't aim the ad or don't make the ad go under the boss whatever it's in mid on on any place but if i will say it's in mid especially so maybe you will fight into him or doing some damage on him on the mid so maybe you will stand above this aura so this aura will stack on you you will have a lot of slow and a lot of damage will stack on you so don't stay on this and don't even think about it also the orb is down the not back so if i will say you tell the tell an ad under the boss it will make a note back so if i will say the note back timed with a circle because that happened to me with the four circles attached so i take a note back then i take the out circle so actually i take it and take a note back a note up because of this and then i take the other one and actually did so this you have to focus on it because if you didn't maybe you will die and the mate a wipe for your part also about orbs if you go for the orb on the right time the uh, boss will lose one percent for everyone go for the right orb so if i will say on the first phase everyone will go for orb so one percent for everyone so it's a four percent damage for the boss if you fail this the boss will heal for every orb he or someone didn't step on it okay for second phase if you go for the orb with two rings so every one of us will draw in the orb or two of us will draw for the orb every one of them will do one percent for this orb and others will do one percent for every orb so it's four percent also for the last phase if we all draw to the orb with the maximum send it will do so much damage also i feel it doing more than four percent also if we miss this he will heal also find a way to avoid this attack so here I'm doing one bat, one forward, then flash step, then doing again with my three. Some other characters have a bad mobility, so you have to think about what you can do about this. If you will resist it, or you have to resist one of them and avoid the others, that's something up to you. So you have to do something about this. And that's it for this dungeon. So I hope you liked the video, and I hope it's good for you. I hope everyone playing after seeing this video will make so easy clears for this dungeon and actually anyway you will find a lot of earrings not for you and uh, not a lot of rings not for you and also a lot of swords not for you so i hope you find whatever is yours so easy and since then do well for you so with this it's the end of the video so thank you for watching guys and see ya in the next video bye bye